Hello guys, welcome back to The Ryan Show. Now today, I've just got home from work, as you can tell. Um, sweaty armpits, yeah. I'm in the shirt, trousers, yeah. Uh, I started my new job. Uh, it's going really well at the minute, yeah. Uh, normally places get paid for their breaks, but we do, so we're one of them. And now, I just wanted to update you all on the last video I made uh, in Iron Bridge, the vlog. In tel yeah, we'll go with Iron Bridge, it's in Telford, it's as simple as. Um, but I wanted to update you what I'll be doing next now. Now, this, th this video I'm making now is going to be something that I recorded in the Bliss Hill Museum. It was one of the teacher's lessons. Uh, like, um, I think his name was Mr. Allsop, I think. I think it was Mr. Allsop. I'll confirm that before I name the video that. Uh, basically, we run into a policeman coming out of the chip shop. There's someone dressed up as a Victorian policeman. And he said, oh, I better make sure you go to school at 12. And we went for a walk with our fish and chips anyway, but we didn't realise we were walking towards the school. And, like, I could see loads of people outside this building. I thought, oh, what's going on over there? So we all went over there. Uh, got a bit closer, sorry. And basically, I realised it was, in fact, the school. And I grabbed Connor's arm and I said, come on, Con, you're going to school. Stop being a naughty boy, I said. And I dragged him into the school. I had everyone laughing in the queue. Because uh, Connor's like 15, so uh, it made sense to do that. So I did that anyway. Uh, and we went in and he did a lesson. He also gave Chris a few rows. I don't think I recorded some of them uh, because I, I recorded when I went in and then I think I stopped recording. I'm not 100%, but, you know, um, I, I'm not 100%. You'll have to see. Now, I will... I would like to say that after this video... Uh, well, before that, the first clip that I'm putting in this video is recorded sideways. Now, I do apologise that. I can't change it, unfortunately. So the first like couple of minutes will be sideways. You can still listen to the audio. I do apologize for that. Uh, everything else will be fine in the video then. Uh, I did want to record in lap in too, but because they were being done out, they were getting done out, like the workshop, they were doing it all out. I thought it wasn't a good idea to record it because it, it, it did look a bit of a mess. I know they did the best that they could at the time, but, like, I don't know if they would have been comfortable with me, with me recording when it was that state, so I didn't bother recording. Now, the stuff I bought, I will be doing in a video soon. I'm just waiting for my lab helmet to come back from a man called Doug Strand. Now, he works with all different types of leather. He made my last helmet for me, which is a Roman helmet, and that looks very nice. Unfortunately, I sold that, though, so I can't exactly show you that now. Uh, but uh, like I said, another video this week, as soon as that comes, I will show everything I bought my lap wise and I'll do a little video on that for you. Uh, so I hope you enjoy this video, guys. Please like, subscribe, tell your friends, watch it on as many things as you can because we're trying to grow. Thank you very much for watching the right show. I'm going to tell how much of a naughty boy you've got. Go on. No, you don't. first. Get, get, get in, naughty boy. Get in, you can get hits with your kid. That's up in school. <laughs> Chris got told off from his arm. Right, I'll sit in my lap. Right? Down, down. Right. I'll sit in my lap, right? Sit in hand. I'm not skinny, man. Quiet. Right, put that drink out in the hall. Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I didn't give anyone permission to sit down or stand. Okay, I'm just being quiet. Just give me a moment or two. Uh, Who are you phoning me? I'm a bit of the new end already, haven't I? <laughs> now, my name is Mr. Allsop. I'm your headmaster. In a moment, I shall greet you with the words, Good morning, class, to which you will respond, Good morning, Mr. Allsop. Boys with their hands behind their backs. Girls with their hands clasped in front of them. Good morning, class. 
Good morning, Mr. Allsop. It's all over the place. <laughs> Good morning, class. Good morning, Mr. Allsop. Now, well, this is your first day at a new school. There are a few rules that you need to learn, so repeat after me. I will not speak unless I am spoken to. I will not speak unless I am spoken to. If I wish to speak, I will raise my hand. If I wish to speak, I will raise my hand. When given permission to speak, I will stand up. When given permission to speak, I will stand up. I will always stand and sit with a straight back. I will always stand and sit with a straight back. Sloppy posture there. I will use my right hand for writing and drawing. I will use my right hand for writing and drawing. Now, if there are any left-handed people in this room, I give you fair warning. Left-handed people are misfits. What are they? Misfits. misfits. We don't want misfits in our school and in our society. They're for us and tomorrow onwards. Anyone using their left hand for writing or drawing will have that hand aimed every day until they learn to use the correct hand. Now, do I make myself clear, class? Yes. Yes, Mr. Yes. Rawls. Good. Now, before we get our first lesson, I want to examine your hands and your nails to make sure they are clean. So, hands out on your slates in front of you. I can't do it. Eleven fours. You go. 
made compulsory that you attend school until the age of 12. Now, if you do not attend school or do not concentrate on your lessons, you will not get a good education. If you don't get a good education, then you will not be able to find yourself a good job. If you don't find yourself a good job, then you will not be able to earn sufficient money to look after yourself. And if you don't earn sufficient money to look after yourself, you find yourself on the streets, begging and stealing. Whereupon you'll be apprehended by Constable Jarrett, sent before the magistrate, and end up either in the workhouse or in prison. So, do you wish to go to prison class? No. Yes. Oh, I'm very relieved to hear this. Right. Now, let's move rapidly on to a little local history. I want to discuss a very famous bridge that is situated approximately three miles from this school. Hands up who can tell me the name of that bridge. Right, let's have a hand we have then. Stand up, girl, first of all. Now, first of all, wait a minute. What's your name? Now, we can't hear that now. Sorry, what's your, what's your second name? Very good. Eight minutes you should watch. Bendel. Right now, Bendel. And a nice, loud voice. So we can all hear. What do you think the name of this bridge is? It is Bendel. Yes, indeed. Now, can you also tell me why this bridge, which you correctly identify as the Iron Bridge, is so very special and very unique. Who can tell me the second part of my question, which is why this bridge, which Bendel has identified, is so very special and unique? What's your name, girl? Give me what? Andy. What? Andy. Andy, right, Andy. Why is it special and unique? It was in the way, perhaps. In the world, in the world. Yes, well, another nice round of applause there. There are lots of iron bridges now, but it was the very, very first iron bridge ever to be built in the whole of the world. Now, you're all local boys and girls, you've all seen the bridge many times, so with your slates and your pencils, I want you to do me a pictorial representation of the iron bridge. Come on, get on with it. Keep your eyes on your own slate, blind in the blind view while you get on the end. There's some slates in the window. <laughs> Go on, Chris, get drawn in. He's got some too, hasn't he? No, I'm going to. Go on. Oh, I have to know what it looks like. We're going to have to draw. Well, you know what it looks like? Yeah, we do. It's like got all the different things in it. I'd just like to show you Handy's attempt at the bridge. Handy, Jack. Put in the Handy. Handy, Handy. Handy, Handy. Handy, Handy. Handy, Handy. Handy, Handy. Handy, <laughs> right, put your pencils down. All pencils down. <laughs> Come on, Bendel. Come on, Bendel. Put your pencils down. All eyes on the blackboard. Now, here are four facts about the Iron Bridge that I want you to memorise. Number one, the Iron Bridge was built in 1779. 
and the cost of the bridge was over £6,000, which, as you can appreciate, in 1779 was a considerable amount of money. 378 and a half tonnes of iron were needed to build it, and everyone must pay toll in order to cross it. So those are the four facts I want you to remember. The bridge was built in 1779. The cost of the bridge was over £6,000. 378 and a half tonnes of iron were needed to build it, and everyone must pay toll in order to cross it. Now, hands up and tell me what a toll I mean by a toll. What is a toll? It's a hand we haven't had. Oh, yes. It's a charge to cross the bridge. A charge, well, that's it down. Yes, a charge, a fee, a levy, a tax. An amount of money that you had to pay to be allowed to cross the bridge. And everyone had to pay this toll. Everyone, that is, except for one person. Who can tell me the name of the one person who didn't have to pay the toll? The Queen? No, that's a very intelligent answer, young lady, but even the reigning monarch of the day would have had to have paid. Now, the only person who was exempt from paying the toll was indeed the ferryman. Now, the reason being for this, before the bridge was built, of course, people would hire the ferryman to transport them from one side of the river Seine to the other. Once the bridge was built, of course, no one needed to use the services of the ferryman any longer. So in recompense for losing his livelihood, he was allowed to use the bridge fee of charge. Yes, it's a pretty poor recompense, isn't it? Well, yes, but I mean, that's life, isn't it? Yes. Clear off your slates, both sides. Return them. <laughs> Clear it off, put it back in the window. <laughs> right, yeah. Pencil set of cloth dusters folded neatly in the centre of your slate. Now, he told right. you straight. Right. Now we should conclude the lesson by first of all singing a hymn, All Things Bright and Beautiful, which I'm sure you're all well aware of the words, but for those of you that aren't sure, I have provided them. That will be followed by a very short prayer before I dismiss the class. So, all set. <sighs> <sighs> Now it's a full class, I'm expecting good volume here. He's going to sing his heart out. When you're ready, all things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, I can't hear you. All things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. Each little flower that opens, each little bird that sings, He made the glowing colors, He made the tiny wings. All things bright and Beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. He gave you eyes to see them, and lips that we might tell how great is God Almighty. Who has made all things well? Raise the volume. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things bright and wonderful. The Lord from made them all. Hands together. Eyes closed. Heads bowed. Repeat after me. Lord Jesus, keep us safe this night. Lord Jesus, keep us safe tonight. Secure from all our fears. Secure from all our fears. May angels guard us while we sleep. May angels guard us while we sleep. Till morning light appears. Till morning light appears. Amen. Amen. Now, before I just finish the class, just not one answer to make. I trust you have a very enjoyable day in the town today. But one place wet that I don't want to hear that any of you have frequented, and that's the new in public house.
especially at one o'clock onwards when there's a couple of disreputables in there claiming they can sing and play the piano. So make sure you give them a very wide berth. <laughs> now we shall leave the classroom in an orderly fashion, no talking until you're in the playground, and make sure you have all your bags and baggages with you, and don't want any belongings left at school. Right, people at the side, I have it with me. Sit down, girl. Can you, can you hit them with a cane? Side bench, stand. Can you hit them with a cane? Wait, wait, wait. That's what you're favourite. You don't hate them. I've been all weekend. Follow, take your hat off. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> that needs to be You've got your hat on. Follow on. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 Enjoy, Chris. Enjoy. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan, you got his drink. <laughs> wait, what wait. You're going to say someone's still playing. <laughs> <He's, he's... laughs> oh, there's one right around the corner. Ryan, Ryan.